Welcome back to Security Simplified. I'm excited to say that today, we're going to dive into the first vulnerability type that I learned about when I started in web hacking, CSRF, or cross-site request forgery. Want to get rewarded for finding security bugs like this one? Integrity is a bug bounty platform that pays you for reporting security vulnerabilities. With more than 100 public and private targets to test your skills on, you can test your hacking skills on real targets legally and get rewarded for it. Sign up now with the link in the description. CSRF or cross-site request forgery is a technique that allows hackers to carry out unwanted actions on the victim's behalf. For example, an attacker might be able to change your password or transfer money from your bank account without your permission. But how is this attack possible? Before we dive into the mechanisms of a CSRF attack, we need to understand how websites authenticate their users. Have you ever wondered how do websites recognize me? Why is it that I don't need to log into Twitter every time I check my feed? When I tweet something, how does Twitter know it's me without having to ask me for my password again? Once you log onto a website, the browser that you are using stores your session cookies for that website and sends it along automatically every time you communicate with that site. For example, after you log into Twitter, Twitter issues a session cookie for your account. That session cookie authenticates you to Twitter. The browser that you are using receives the session cookie, stores it, and sends it along with every request to Twitter. This allows you to access confidential information that are only available to you and perform actions that only you should be able to do, like reading your DMs and changing your account information. When you try to tweet on Twitter, your browser sends a request to Twitter with your session cookie to prove your identity and verify that you are in fact authorized to send the tweet as your user account. Let's say the send a Send a tweet HTML form looks like this. Once you click on the submit button on the page, your browser will send a request to twitter.com slash send a tweet with your session cookie, and a tweet will be sent on your behalf. Now, can you spot the issue with this functionality? A simple HTML form like this one is vulnerable because any site can submit the same request, not just twitter.com. Imagine an attacker hosting her own website, and on her site, she hosts an auto-submitted and invisible HTML form like this one. Since browsers will include your session cookie to Twitter automatically with each request, your browser will automatically include your Twitter credentials when this form is automatically submitted. Twitter will then see the request as valid since it includes your real Twitter credentials. The tweet will go through and you will have been forced to tweet. Realistically, a malicious HTML page will look like this. The malicious form will be hidden from the user view using an invisible iframe and JavaScript will be used to submit the form without needing user interaction. And that's it for today's security lesson. Next time, we'll talk about how attackers realistically use CSR vulnerabilities to attack users and how you can prevent CSR attacks from happening.